Welcome to the inaugural episode of Artist Spotlight. Today, I'm thrilled to introduce a dear friend of mine who's flown in from abroad to join me in exploring the serene landscape and engaging in some heartfelt conversation about photography. When someone comes to visit Italy, I'm always happy to welcome them and to explore unseen places or revisit all the ones that I am tagged to. Well, a, a nice, a nice trip. Yeah. So we are in Giorgio di Fiore, in the Coast. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. These places always help you disconnect from the reality of our chaotic lives. It is unnecessary to spend time there at least once and benefit from it. What are you shooting today? We are shooting Portrait 400, just got the Mamiya 7 out after the M6, trying to get this composition of this tunnel, which is crazy, going through. Got a little scooter in the background, got the ocean in the through the tunnel in the composition. It's just so pretty out here, man. You can't can't take a bad photo today. <laughs> Three photos <laughs> of the same thing. Alex so is pretty. blasting rolls <laughs> above the Amalfi Coast. <laughs> Plow it through Port 400 like it's my job. We are at the Fiordo di Furore. That's a beautiful sweet spot in the Amalfi Coast. Right before coming to Amalfi City. The sea is very uh, how do you say, rough? Yeah. So, so cool. Alex, what's your rating from Fiordo di Furore? Easily from 1 to 10. 10 out of 10. This is one of, <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've, I've, I've seen in a long time. Even with the gloomy day, like I was a little worried that we weren't going to get good sunlight, but I think this is going to even look better with yeah. like, the blue water and it's so moody. I can't wait. <laughs> Kodak Express for these Kodak <laughs> Express scans. <laughs> In Firenze. <laughs> I want you to spell my last name. It's yeah. very difficult. <laughs> Even Italians can spell yeah. that right. I bet. Always had trouble. <laughs> you want to say something else? We cut. <laughs> okay, let's go. Today is my first episode of Artist Spotlight, and we have the pleasure to meet Alex Kito from the US. Please, Alex, uh, present yourself. <laughs> Thank you for having me just out here in the Amalfi Coast. It's beautiful. Francesco has been kind enough to drive me around and just show me some of his favorite spots. It's been absolutely incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, a little awkward in front of the camera, but, but I'm excited to be here nonetheless. <laughs> I always feel awkward <laughs> in front of the camera, but we let the flow. Uh, we'll take you to my YouTube channel that, of course, we talk about photography and we have the pleasure to meet Alex Kito Photography Experiences and I'm a long way enjoyer of your work, a lover of your work, such a nice inspiration to have the man itself here <laughs> after uh, uh, we met last year in yeah. New York City uh, for FT in New York City, but we hadn't much time to to experience photography yeah. together. Yeah. So I want to start uh, talking with Alex. He's, from, uh, he's living in Denver, Colorado, in the United States, but he's moving 
to Kansas City soon, so probably we'll meet him uh, along my new project in America Midwest. I'm so excited to yeah, meet you again. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. And to record another uh, episode of, yeah. uh, of, the, yeah, we'll of this to. one. So Alex, uh, my first question as Italian. So uh, how do you find your, I know you are not your first time traveler in Italy, but your first time in Campania region, so the Malfi Coast. How do you feel about that? It's honestly incredible. Like like you said, I've been to uh, I've been to Italy a good amount in the past, mostly Rome, Florence, Tuscany, um, and just kind of little towns here and there. But this is even cooler than I imagined it. I've seen you know so many pictures of it on the internet, and it's it always looked very crowded. But coming here kind of on shoulder season, I think it's been really cool because weather's not perfect, but the beaches aren't crowded. There's not yeah. a billion people out, and it's just so beautiful. Like the water is so blue. The cliffs are amazing. The mountains are way bigger than I thought they would be. Um, but all in all, I'm absolutely blown away. Like I cannot wait to get these this film developed and see it. Um, yeah, so I'm just, honestly, I'm just stoked to be out here. It's been super fun to just kind of aimlessly explore and I appreciate you taking me out for a day. Thank you. I always appreciate to bring a native experience to explore those places because you know, you are a long time traveler to Italy. You have been to the most packed places in the world, like Rome, like Florence, and experience a place like this that in summer is very exploding of people yeah. in such a nice way. Like we are here on the Fiord di Furore, recording a, a little podcast, a little talk, and we are very, it's lucky to have this possibility yeah. in low season, of course. I'm glad I bring you here because you can experience like a, a real to one like a local one that visit like on the weekend yeah. or, or so on. So you have a different perception of the place. Yeah, for so sure. I, I'm glad I brought you here. Yeah, it's good to be with people who speak Italian as well, because I've been struggling. Yeah. <laughs> I've been struggling to make my way around sometimes. But... Everything was like a grazie, un <laughs> <a> frego, <laughs> yeah. and ciao. And we brought Alex to eat something like a light meal. And we ordered for him uh, in the quickest way possible. So the waiter was like, Okay, I'm done. I can bring you whatever you want. You know, you enjoy traveling a lot, especially in Europe. And, but also you are a great photographer in your uh, native uh, uh, place, that is United States. So uh, what's your attitude toward photography? What's your workflow? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting question. I kind of had like the passion to travel before I ever even picked up a camera. Um, and so I was always trying to see as many new places as I possibly could, as many new countries um, and just states in the US. And then I bought a camera when I went to study in Spain for like four months and just like kind of fell in love with the idea of wandering around and just kind of capturing your surroundings in the best possible way. Um, and so yeah, my workflow is very sporadic. <laughs> I don't plan things, I don't scout locations, I don't do a lot of research. I kind of just like buy a ticket somewhere, get in my car and drive somewhere and then just wander around and just take photos of whatever captures my eye. And, it leads me to some really cool places, like right here, right? Yeah. Like I met you on the internet and then I, you know, asked if you if you were around and we could meet up and you brought me to this incredible place and like I didn't know it existed. This is the best attitude probably for the kind of photography we do because yeah. we share a lot of visuals and perspectives for photography. So the on the road experiences, the, the mundanity of things, uh, of course we schedule our project. You came here with the idea of shooting picture uh, because we, we like to do that. Uh, but we always carried away from the flow that uh, people or places get us on the road. Yeah. So it's both of the same attitude I share with Alex. Uh, so I am glad to, to be able to share this day with him. I picked him up in Sorrento and I said, okay, you, today you will come with me and we are gonna experience an on the road through the Amalfi Coast with no pressure at all, but just with our cameras. Uh, so you will see the images that Alex uh, shoot here in Italy and I will highlight also all the previous work that he made uh, in Ireland uh, or in the United States. Uh, so he's a landscape photographer, his work is very unique, he shoot film of course, <laughs> uh, and you can guess what his favorite film stock it's Porto 400, 400. <laughs> <laughs> of course, for the vibe. Got a whole bag in my backpack of just Porto 400. <laughs> yeah, we used to Porto 400 for everything nowadays. Okay. And it's shooting with this Leica M6 with the 35 millimeter Sumicron. Yeah. And it brought also the Mamiya 7 you, you saw on the video. 
also a bunch of digital cameras. Uh, I have a lot of gear in his backpack just to not miss any uh, opportunity <laughs> here in Italy. I overpack. I've got I've acquired too many cameras this year. Now I just always have a backpack full of cameras. It's fine. <laughs> it's the, the problem would be probably at the airport when he will be carry on the film to be unchecked and the worst nightmare of every TSA guy yeah. will be Alex <laughs> with his film and his cameras. Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> so what's your uh, plan for the future? You have any plans? Yeah, I don't know. It's been uh, it's been freeing because like, you know, I'm usually working really hard on a project or I'm working really hard in the crypto space or trying to get brand deals. Um, but it's been pretty nice. Like I just took off three months to just come to Europe and kind of explore and kind of like you're talking about, like no pressure and restrictions. And I want to take good photos, but I'm also just trying to experience as, mu as many things as possible. And I haven't even edited my photos. I think I've shot 2000 photos since I've been here <laughs> and I haven't even edited them yet. So. <laughs> Probably like after this trip is over, I'm just gonna go home and like really try to get organized and edit and share all these photos and you know hopefully put them all in a book and make a new project out of it. Um, but right now it's kind of just I'm kind of just freely. Yeah, th that sounds fun yeah. and but challenging because yeah. you stay a long period of time away from yeah, like your workflow at home, uh, like you have your archive, but you are building your archive right now. Yeah. So you're not focused on an overall vision, but probably you're leaving the way one shot after one shot and maybe when you come back to the United States you can really work on an archive and on a book yeah it's pretty intense uh, workflow yeah uh, it's gonna be a lot because usually I like go somewhere for a week okay. I shoot a lot of photos I go home and then I just edit for yeah. a couple weeks and right away and, posting it yeah right and it's like there you know it's not that many it's like here's my photos from Mexico or here's my photos from wherever and this is gonna be like Here's my photos from Amsterdam, Belgium, London, you know, yeah, Amalfi, it's quite a lot Florence, of like Tuscany, and then Portugal. It's it's going to be a lot. You will go mad. It's yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming. You need already. a curator. Uh, Hire me. I'm a curator. I know. Honestly. <laughs> Hire me. So <laughs> far, yeah, I appreciate your idea and your vision about photography. We share that because yeah, for I'm sure. that I'm like that too. I hope to see your book as soon as possible. Yeah. Take your time, of course. <laughs> Don't rush it because it takes time. Yeah. Three months on the road are a lot. The selection of the images will be hard yeah. because most of the time you are used to love your images, but when you work on a bodywork, you must kill your loved ones. Yeah. It sounds very uh, rude to say that, but you must kill some of the picture you love the most to blend together a work that speaks for itself. Yeah. Just not lo looking at the picture without uh, saying, okay, I took this picture in London, okay, I took this picture in Italy. It must be a flow. Yeah. And I'm sure you will get that soon. Yeah, and well, like, to be honest, my workflow is, uh, it's pretty harsh. I'm pretty hard on myself. So usually when I see my photos, I'm like, I hate them. I hate all of them. <laughs> yeah. I didn't take a single good photo. And then I sit down and I do some post-processing because I'm not like, you know, using AI sky replacement and stuff, but I am tweaking <laughs> colors and like, and everything. We should portra for, uh, Blocking the AI scale yeah. <laughs> just for that. <laughs> but like then I start to like them more as I tweak the colors and I kind of bring, you know, because a lot of time I get really flat scans on okay. purpose from Gelatin Labs. Shout out to Gelatin Labs. They're Sponsor the best in New Jersey. <laughs> Squarespace. <laughs> Square <laughs> uh, no, but like they, I get really flat scans. So they're very like not colorful. They're very yeah. washed out. But then the point is so then you can bring the colors back into them in post-processing. So a lot of times I look at my photos and I'm like, these all suck, I'm terrible, I'm a bad <laughs> photographer. And then I take some time with them and I revisit the memories and I, you know, kind of adjust the colors and make them look how I imagined the scene when I shot it. And that's usually when I start to fall back in love with them. So it's gonna be a lot of yeah, a process. It requires with, time. Yeah, of especially course. with 10,000 photos <laughs> probably quite by a the lot. end of 10, this. 10,000 photos are quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. I want to be the curator of Alex. I yeah. won't imagine Alex doing like, overnight curation of his images <laughs> yeah. to be in time for the production of your, his book. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> it's the worst part of an artist because once you're shooting, you're excited. Yeah. Okay, shooting there, shooting there, going there, okay, change the role and so on. But when it comes to curation, it's a mess. Yeah. It's a problem for every artist because you have the pressure, the anxiety that you don't have before yeah. while shooting it, but it becomes like difficult because you have to put your words, your images, your vision uh, to the public, to the audiences, and so yeah. on. Okay, Alex, uh, thank you for uh, 
your presence here. I want to thank Alex uh, another time because he's a, a cool photographer. <laughs> so you must follow him uh, on other channels. I link his Instagram, his X um, account. Follow him also on Web3. Just say thanks for having me, man. Like I'm a huge admirer of your work as well. And it's been really fun to just like <laughs> link up and talk about photography and see somewhere new together. And I, I appreciate it. And I'm excited to, to see this video and just check out more of your YouTube and watch it yeah, grow. So I'm excited. Bye. <laughs>